Hey guys, it's Steven Zamero. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, Wednesday ish. Um, middle of the week, I guess. <laughs> Almost middle of the week for me. <laughs> I hope you're all doing good. I hope you've been praying for me. I've been praying for you guys. I just need a lot of prayers every day. <laughs> Today I'm going to be blogging. Um, I was going to blog just about one thing, but you know, it's that time of year for me where I should just extend stuff. Yeah, extend. <laughs> I'm in a little office room, so don't worry. It's called the study room. I call it in my, in my house. This house is called the study room. I know it's cute. Well, anyway, um, it was actually my parents' study room, but we, I, I guess we all share it. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you. All right, so today's t first topic, two topics. I don't want to, like, just, like, focus on one thing and, like, brag about, like, just blog about all day. I just want to get involved with both as much as I can. It's going to be hard. So, here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, the first topic, two topics, is, um, well, I do like to talk about it, but the first topic is, drumroll, <laughs> um, is, why do people unfriend you off Facebook or unfriend me off Facebook? That's the reason why, why, because that's what we're going to talk about for now. And then we'll go to the next so next um, topic real quick. <laughs> so, people will unfollow you off Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat. If you have, I don't, I don't have Snapchat, so I used to, but I deleted it. It just got, the, the filters got weird with me, so I apologize. I do have a new Instagram. Um, it's like Stevie Romero like four numbers like they have two four some numbers um people can unfollow you off twitter or pinterest whatever well i don't have snapchat so remember that steve don't i don't i would love to make one but it, i have a tiktok you can follow me at stevie room parent room arrow five i love tiktoks they're fun yeah <laughs> i should just i just i just did a tiktok today so um today's first topic is about <laughs> this is part one and slash part two why do people unfriend us? Well, me, actually, because we're focused on me right now, and then focus on you guys too. Well, I don't know. Um. So, I guess you would say people unfriend me or you. We're not talking about me. We're talking about everything, I guess. Um, because one thing is because. Sometimes, I guess people unfriend me, why they unfriend me, I guess, because, and block me, or unfriend me, because sometimes they get hacked, which is a big issue in this world, people always get hacked, and sometimes it's hard for them to go back on their account because they get hacked, so they have to make a new email, it sucks, I'm sorry. I was hacked last year, so, you know, I'm praying I don't get hacked again this year, or next year, or any, any year, you know, prayers always work, um, pray that we don't get hacked ever again. But the other reason is because I've been hearing, I heard awful rumors um, that one day when I was telling you, when I was upset about the bullying video, you know, there's a lot of rumors in this world about people, and I think it really needs to stop. You know, there's a lot of hatred in this world, more hatred than there was when I was younger. I mean, there was a lot of hatred then, but like, wow, it's it's a new decade, people. Like, what's up? What's going on here? What the heck? It's 2020, guys. And I don't like to curse, but it, you know, we're, we're really like in that zone now where we have to focus on not deleting people. Like, we need to stop hacking people, stop spreading rumors. Because that's another reason. That reason is because people, I don't know why people do that. I guess because they're upset about something or jealous. I don't think people should be jealous in 2020, because we focus a lot on ourselves now, and, you know, technology has gotten higher and higher now, where, you know, robots are, like, kind of taking over the world in a way, if you, get, if you understand that, um, but we're, you know, we have high technology now that it's hard to control all that stuff, so, for me, I've talked about this for hours, I think people should stop spreading rumors, number one, and stop being jealous, um, you know, you can comment below and say, you know, it's not true or anything, but, or I don't believe this, Stevens, but, or whatever, but there's a point where you need to stop spreading rumors or stop being jealous or being upset with me or with anybody. I think that the new decade should definitely show us about less hatred and more love and stop hacking me and stop hacking each other because that's not going to get you far in life is hacking. It's, it's, it's a very 
we live in such a diverse world where it's hard to, you know, figure out who wants what, how we can control people. And we can't control people. We can't control my thoughts. Like, you know, if what, what, what I want for dinner, it's no one's business what I want for dinner, you know? And it's none of your business of what you did. And it's fun to look at you know, photos like cookies and, you know, DIY cookies, how to make food. I like all that stuff. And, like, brownies, like the tasty.com on Facebook. I like all that stuff. But for me to really, you know, seriously, you know, talk about that stuff, it's, you know, it's kind of, I'm getting over to a point that I am, you know, going to be 31 of these days, eventually, um, my birthday's coming up, as you all know, yay, but I'm not turning 30, so thank god, no, not 30, yeah, no, not 30 yet, but time does go by fast, it's really fast, and, um, you know, people have been going through a lot this year that it's really scaring the crap out of me, so, and scaring the people, and I'm praying that it stops, you know. So I think the new decade, we should just not control ourselves, control peoples and how they eat or how they live or how they are. Um, I know a lot of people would disagree with me on this, but, you know, this is a, you know, I've been figuring out that, you know, this is a topic I would like to talk about. I like to have a serious blog with you guys about why people unfriend me or unfriend you. Um, there are so many reasons probably why people unfriend you, but those are, I think those are the two main reasons, actually, since... We're going straight to topic two right now. <laughs> but the thing is, I also learned that rumors and jealousy and upsetness and hacking and being mean to someone is very awful. Bullying needs to end. I already told you guys on my last a couple of videos ago to stop bullying. It really needs to end. Like, it's serious. Gonna end. Um, I didn't mean to cut you off that day, but I was really upset. So now that I'm feeling much better than that day, you know, life gets better every day as possible as it can. I'm not saying my my day is perfect, and I don't think anyone, no one's perfect, but I try my best to make things perfect for my friends and stuff. So, pray for my old friends to come back. Pray for you guys that we don't get hacked or hurt. You know, maybe we should just stop being jealous and stop being upset. Upsetness can really affect your life, and if you have problems, you should go see a therapy, or go for a walk, read a good book, go take a bath, a long bubble bath, and think positive, and always think about the ocean. So always think positive. That's kind of the reason why people unblock me or unfriend me or anything. Um, people have not. People are still unfriending me, so I'm sorry if I ever... I'm going to apologize right now. I'm sorry if I ever affected any of you, and I really need you guys back. Praying. Part two. <laughs> Breathe, Stephen. <laughs> the next um, part um, topic, I, I could stop this video right now, but um, it's actually really about the... Um, it's been on the news now. The deadly virus. You all know it. I hope. I don't know if you ever all heard of the coronavirus. Um, so we're going to talk about coronavirus. Um, it is a serious situation. Um, I'm scared to get it, but I'm not going to think about it. Um, you know, I just say wash your hands and take a nice shower. Good, wash your bodies and soaps and, you know, get your vaccination updates and go see doctors and you know, take Advil or NyQuil and sleep a lot. Sleep helps a lot. Um, just, you know, do positive stuff. You know, maybe exercise, go for a nice jog. I don't know what you guys do for exercising. It's for me, I love to dance and go for walks. So that's something I continue to do. And um, the coronavirus, I think it's a really scary thing situation. Maybe it's not as, maybe, you know, the, you know, the flu is awful too. But that's why you get your flu shots. So to be honest, please get your flu shots for me. <laughs> um, you need to be vaccinated, people. You need to get stopped. You know, maybe it's a scary thing. Maybe not think about it while you're getting your flu shot. Maybe ask for, like, a drink of water while you're getting, you know, maybe listen to music. That's what I do when I get my flu shots or my blood drawn. I listen to music. <laughs> I think they usually let you do that, doctors. Um, I did that last time I get my blood drawn right here. It was, it was, I don't like blood drawn, but I could do flu shots. I could do shots, but not blue drawn. <laughs> but, you know, I'll go on and on about that. But maybe, you know, um... Probably stay home as much as you can, even if you have to work. I know schools are closing, I heard about it. People can do online classes. I wish I had that. Lucky them. <laughs> but, you know, this is a serious situation, so we got to pray for each other. Um, let's bow our hands. You know, I'm going to say a little prayer. Dear God, please pray that we have no coronavirus on this planet, and watch angels and everybody watch over us and keep us going, and friends and family. We all love each other. Plus, my spirit, man. So I said a little prayer for us. Um, hopefully, you know, my friends come back, because I feel like a lot of my old friends are missing, so, dear God, pray my old friends come back, and, um, amen, and, um, you know, just keep on doing what you have to do, so, whatever I think about the coronavirus is, it's, I hope nothing happens, I'm still watching the news, it's all over the news, so, we'll see what happens, um, it has entered my state, so, pray that I don't get it, 
if I do get it, I'm going to be really deadly sick, so I'm praying that none of us get the coronavirus. It's a scary situation right now. So you're all my parents, so don't worry really about that. Um, love you guys to death. God bless you. Keep us me and your prayers. I did a couple of prayers. Just remember, you guys are awesome, special, amazing. Even if you want to know about why people, you know, unfriend me, you know, you can always message me on Facebook if you don't have me on Stevie Romero. It's my Facebook or Twitter at Stevens Romero. Stevens A. Romero at Twitter. Instagram is Stevie Point Romero 34, some numbers, but you'll find me. It's my face <laughs> um, with ashes on it. So, anyway, I'm going to stop talking and um, I'm going to let you guys go. So, please tell me what you think and subscribe below what you think about the coronavirus. Okay. Love you guys. Enjoy the office view. Bye.